Round one. Fight. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. This ain't gonna happen. See, I'm on vacation, and I refuse to get my hands dirty on vacation. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll talk to you later, though. Later. Bye. Wow! What the hell is going on? Now before I start this review, I would like to take this time and apologize for the lateness of this video. The fact is, I bought Tekken Tag 2 on the release day. However, I didn't want to go ahead and do the review right away because I wasn't quite sure myself how I felt about this game. So after a week of playing it, I think I finally have enough information to where I can give an honest review in which I am happy. Now first of all, I want to start by saying that the tag team co-op in this game is phenomenal. Come on, man. Tag me in. Tag me in. Come on. Oh, what? Block. Get up and block. Back. I'm doing block. the best I can. Tag me in. Motherfucker. Tag. Fucking tag me in. Jesus Christ, gotta do everything myself. I'm tagging. I'm tagging. If you're not listening to me, I'm tagging, okay? Look, I'm tagging. It ain't my fucking shit ain't going. I'm tagging. Jesus fucking Christ, man. It ain't my fault you fucking suck at this game. I love the fact that you can tag your partners in and out and you can play with your friend on co-op online. I think that is a fantastic feature. That is a feature that I wanted to do for a while because in my family, we all play Tekken. Me, my brother, and my wife. And with Tekken 6 in the previous Tekken game, only one of us could play online at a time. This way, not one of us is just watching the other play. So we both have a controller. And we both can take turns going in and out. And if, you know, it helps you build strategy with your partner. That was a definite positive of the, the game. Another positive of the game is the 3D aspect. I love the game in 3D. The 3D was fantastic. Man, this game is awesome in 3D. It, it really is. It's like they're coming at you. This is the greatest thing I have ever seen in my life. This is better than sex. No. No, it's not. Virgin. Now, the 3D mode and the co-op feature online is very spectacular in itself. However, when you get to the rest of the game, that's where it kind of falls apart. The arcade feature in the game is what you would expect in previous Tekken games. You know, you go through the arcade line and you get the corny movie at the end, okay? And believe me, these movies are nothing special at the end. Uh, matter of fact, Kazuo and Jin's is basically the same thing. One thing I liked about the game was the fact that June made her return. I, I would expect that this game would have some kind of story mode, some kind of plot, you know, especially with games such as Mortal Kombat and even Tekken 6 had a great story mode. This game falls short in all of that. They have some kind of campaign type thing where you play as a robot and you have to do certain moves in order to progress through the thing. And it gets so frustrating at times, you're just like, you know what, fuck this, it ain't worth the damn thing. The graphics for Tekken 6 is just like any other Tekken game. They look great. I mean, it's what you would expect from a Tekken game. I think the biggest problem I have with this game is it's what you would expect from any other Tekken game. It's really no different than any other Tekken game. The only thing different is you can team up with your friend and play online co-op. Really, that is all that's different. Is that actually worth $60? If you're a Tekken fan, you're going to pick it up because you're a fan of Tekken like I am, so I picked it up. However, to be honest, this game is not worth $60. I mean, Honestly, I bought Tekken 6 when it first came out for $60, and I had a much better experience with Tekken 6, and that had no 3D and no online co-op um, tag system. That's the only thing this game features different, and it's not worth $60. It's just not. Um, you can probably have the same experience, minus the co-op, with Tekken Tag Hybrid. And if you're new to the series, and you want to get into the Tekken series, 
just start with Tekken 6. It's the same graphics, better campaign, and I feel that the control scheme is better. It just seems like a lot of characters got broken in this game, and they don't have the same, the same flow as they did in previous Tekken games. Um, I, for one, I, I'm very disappointed in it. I like the game. Don't let, don't, don't let my review get you the wrong impression. I like the game. Sixty dollars, I think, is a little steep. Uh, Tekken is starting to remind me of it's, it's basically the equivalent of the Call of Duty series. Everyone is the same damn thing, besides a minor, you know, a few minor adjustments. The difference between the Tekken series and Call of Duty, however, you don't get Tekken every year. You get Tekken like every other year or once every three years. That's the only minor difference from the Call of Duty series to the Tekken series, but. Overall, it's basically like like Call of Duty, and I love Tekken, but it's starting to get you know a little repetitive with the same stuff. There's no reason not to add a great campaign in this game. Um, it's just like they tried to hurry up, rush it, get it on the shelf, much like Tekken uh, Cross or Street Fighter Cross Tekken rather. Got a little tongue tied there, but um, you know, great game. I mean, I enjoyed it as a Tekken game, but if you want to play a Tekken game, you can get the same experience with Tekken 6. Um, I'm Storm Zinc, and that's my opinion.